We thank you for what you are going to do. We thank you for what you are doing already. We return all the praise to you in the name of Jesus. Along that all the the stage for you to assume this stage. In the corporate anointing in the house of Almighty Father, I pray that you speak your word of God. Lord, come and do what only you can do. And take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. It's not in Jesus' name. I want to give all thanks to Almighty God. I want to thank all the ministers of God in the house. I want to thank Bishop Peter Ramadan. Peace and love. I why are we here? Hallelujah. I tell my message as God the word the call. Every human being alive has a call in life. I tell my message as God the word the call. Hallelujah. You could be a, you could be called to be a minister. You will be called to be an evangelist. You will be called to be a musician. You will be called to be a governor and president of a country. For everyone God created, He created that with a purpose. That is why today I am talking the ministers and the deacons in the house today. We are called for the purpose. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 4, from verse 11 to 13, he talks about the gift of the ministry. He said, and he said to the church, we are very Varieties. He said, said, appointed some to be an apostle. He appointed some to be a prophet. He appointed some to be an evangelist. As well as a pastor and a teacher. Why did he create them? Why did he appoint them? He made it clear in verse 12 of it. To fulfill, equip, and perfect the saints. To use all the work of God. To use the body of Christ. To use the body of the body of Christ. That is why he appointed them. Hallelujah. We are all in the house today. Each of us are called for a purpose. 
The world are sitting here today, they are called for a purpose. Some are called to be a pastor. Some are called to be a deaconess. Some are called to be an evangelist. Some are called to be an evangelist. But the question is this: Do we operate in the calling of God as Holy? Many of us are called, but we fail to fulfill the call. Many of us are called, but we are afraid to come to hack into the voice of God. He said we are created to his work. He said in verse 13, until we all reach oneness in the faith. And in the knowledge of the sons of God, to become a mature believer, to preaching to the measure of fullness of Christ. Now, sir, the completeness and expectancy of Christ. Now, sir, the completeness and completeness and expectancy and exercises. Our spiritual gift in unity. Our spiritual gift in unity. We are called for a purpose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to give thanks to Almighty God. If I must let me start from my beloved daughter over here right now. Hallelujah. I can remember how long I've known her. Hallelujah. She has come a long way. Right when she was young, she was walking according to the call of God in her life. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. She served as a queen. She serves as a minister until she attained the university, the school of theology, called Anointed University Accredited in America. And she graduated out of it. She never stopped the call. She keep pushing on to the call. But she knows she was called for the purpose. She knows the, the, the harvest is ripe. And there is no harvest. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is God. Hallelujah. Beloved, yeah, are you living according to your call? Are you living according to your call? Are you living according to your call? I want to give thanks to Almighty God. I said, you should go to the Lord. More than you are standing on my side. When I met her the first time, I knew there was something about her. I knew there was a gift inside of her. And I want to give thanks to God. But she never stopped. Despite the ministry was for little kids. Despite it was for you. She gave her best. She never put on the best. Day by day, she longed to work for God. So as you and I today, are you listening to the call of God? Are you listening to the call of God? Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. God has called you and I. He said in the book of 1st and 2nd Timothy. 2nd Timothy chapter 1. I'm going to read verse 9 of it. 2nd Timothy chapter 1. One of us nine. Yes, sir. For he delivered us and saved us and called us with his holy calling. Hallelujah. A holy what? Calling. That leads towards consecrated life. A life set apart. A life of purpose. Not to cause of our work. Or because of our personal needs, merit, we could do nothing of this, but because of his own purpose. Hallelujah. You are called not because you are qualified. You are going to be ordained today as a pastor, as a 
ministers and evangelists not because you are qualified. Not because you study the Lord. Not because you went to the University of Theology. No. You are called for his own purpose. Hallelujah. Each of us are called for the purpose of God. To serve and to equip the body of Christ. My beloved mothers. My beloved brother. My beloved sister. Are you ready for the call? Because there are great men of God in your heart. But I'm going to lay your hand on something. The Bible says, when the hand of God laid on Saul's life, he was a Saul and became a prophet. There was a change. When the oil of God followed the head of David, his life changed. My prayer for you today, that as my mothers, the ministers of God in the house, the pastors of the house, the bishops of the house, as they lay hands on you, may you fulfill this thing in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the purpose of God come to life. May the call of God go greater in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are But the grace of God. This is where I am today. That same grace that find me will find you today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone in the house. Whether young or old. You are called. You are called. You walk in the coldness of God. In the book of Second Peter. Second Peter. Hallelujah. Second Peter chapter one. As how I read. Hallelujah. I'm going to read quickly verse ten. So because of time, so that we know why we here. Second Peter chapter one. I'll read verse ten of it. It says, "Therefore, believers, be on the more diligent." To make certain about your calling. Be sure that your behavior reflects and confirms the relationship with God. I'm reading from an amplified version. Hallelujah. For by doing this thing, actually developing this virtue, listen carefully, you, my daughter, you, Uncle Noel, you, Mama Mata, you, Mama Gatron, you, he said, you will never stop in your spiritual growth. And you will live a life that lead others away from their sins. It's why? Because you have to be I shall need to submit to me that. So for this reason, is it Don't look at your ability. By your ability, you are nothing. By your knowledge, you are nothing. Rely the power of the Holy Ghost. Rely the power of Almighty God. For this sake, because you are acting to the calling. Because you hearken to the voice of God. He said, then I will walk inside of you. That through you, no one will stop. You yourself will not stop. 
and through your life, you will draw many to Jesus. I pray for my brother, my sister, my mother. Because you are hacking to the cause. Because you are hacking to the cause. May the word of God come to pass in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not stumble. In the name of Jesus Christ. Through you, many will come to Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. If I talk about my mother, no, you can't man for me. Mama Katu, Mama Katri. I remember the day I met her. So it's a career Monday. Laga have you. And I told her, Ma, the Lord said you will be the woman leader. Allah, the Lord said you will be the woman leader. She said I can't do it. So he said that I'm not happy. Say what the God of God will help me. So he said that if Allah has said, I will give thanks to God. Why is it the shukr that Allah? Ever since she has entered that office, she has never made a mistake. She is doing it with all her heart. Passionately. And today, God is moving out to the messenger. I pray for somebody in the house. Regardless the church you are coming from. By the way, I want to appreciate all the churches in the house. May God bless all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Regardless of who you are in your denomination. If you walk diligently, not looking on man, looking on to God, he will pick you. He will take you to the next In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Children of God, I will live it according to your call. Praise the living Jesus. I want to give thanks to my brother and Noel. I say, I should call that boy Noel. Hallelujah. When place came out, I'm not in this planet. I'm somewhere else. Hallelujah. And I want to give thanks to God. I said, you should call that this man has come around. Going to churches. Playing for them, serving them, listen to the God. When you are faithful, in a little, God will give you bigger, bigger responsibility. The bigger the responsibility, the bigger the person that comes to your life. I will not be able to do it. 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 I will not be able to my father's in the house. Those men of God, they hack you to the voice of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If my very best friend will allow me to talk this word, I don't know if you will allow me. So please forgive me, sir. Hallelujah. He's a very good friend of mine. Praise the living Jesus. If I was called to be a pastor, so that the house should come to give me an Iran. And he ran away. Wajala. Hallelujah. He ran. Jala. He took a plane. And he landed in Cairo. He said, Let me see if you come and make me a pastor here. For God to be God. His first job in this country. Was inside the house of God. Hallelujah. 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 After working in the house of God, the priest in charge said to him, God said you are a minister. And he told him, He's not a pastor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is the pastor, pastor of 
African community church. This is a African So we have come a long way. Hallelujah. You cannot run out of the call of God in your life. If the call of God is in your head, no. A lot of guys. If you like look into the hole, it will still find you. No, neither with a lot of you that's with a way. But my prayer for you is this. I guess a lot of time. That may not find you inside the belly of the fish. No matter that you are hot with a hook. May it not find you inside the lion's den. No matter that you are a little bit as a heart is to the call of God. As my soul with a there's a call in your life. God is calling you. A lot of it will be an encouragement. It will be someone that goes and help the meeting. It will be a choir. It will be a minister. A governor. There is a call. God made you for a purpose. Hallelujah. When I talk about my, my own program, my own program. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Reverend, this is Bishop. Oh, see. Hallelujah. I will turn off his life. When I look at that man, I smile. Hallelujah. You cannot forget today. Today, he's the pastor. Oh, this is Jesus enlightened word means he's so great. He can use with Jesus enlightened ministry. Do you know, do you know it? Yeah, I have it. He ran for yeah, whole time. Run together, sir. For my wife. I'm going to run together. And then we are But when you go, you can't run faster than that. Like you cannot run faster than your shot. That is why I am begging you today. Don't wait. Do not delay the call of God. There is a call. There is a life waiting for you. There is a family. Waiting for you. There is somebody in the prison yard waiting for you to speak to them. Let God use you. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is good. He said, We are called for the purpose. Quickly, before I run up the book, in the book of 1 Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 17. He said, Only let each one live the life which the Lord has assigned to him. Again, only let each one live the life which the Lord has assigned him. And the person is unique. So which God has called him? To him to which God has called you. Bishop, yeah, I am not a bishop. I am not a bishop. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. I enjoy my position. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Because I'm not ready to carry the cap of a bishop. Mm-hmm. But why? It is heavy. Let me stay where I am. Praise the living Jesus. Each one. Each one. Whether you are a deaconess, whether you are a pastor, or an evangelist, each one is assigned by God for a purpose. Do not put your mouth. I will not go and claim to be a bishop, no way. I am contented with where I am. Hallelujah. Beloved, you, you are called. You are called. You are called. Say to yourself, I am called. Say to yourself, I am called. Any department you are working, you are called that department. Do the best. I will of you. Make a difference. I said, make a difference. I said, I will make a difference. Say, I will make a difference. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will make a difference. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, I will touch my generation. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will be a light. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will walk. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will walk. In Jesus come. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will operate in the level of destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever he takes, an ocean, a pastor, you are called. You are called. I pray. May God Almighty, with his infinite grace and glory, rest upon you. I'm going to call upon my beloved brother to come for I'm going to call my brother to come for one. Let's wake up for Jesus Christ. Let's wake up for Jesus Christ. Let's wake up for Jesus Christ. Let's wake up Jesus Christ. Let's wake up for 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 Jesus Christ. May of God, may of God, my mother in the house, Reverend Marco, God bless you in Jesus' name. I can still see you over there. God bless you in Jesus' name. Beloved, may of God, may of God, these are your daughters and sons. By the grace of God, Master Yusuf, she undergo a theology school right from America and she was accredited. She graduated last year. My two mothers here. So she is standing up as a pastor. Let us go for Jesus. My two wonderful mothers. My two wonderful mothers. May your God. When you have two people like this, you don't have to them again. God bless you for me, Jesus. Father, I am tired. Yes, God, I did. They stand by me. They never give up. They believe in me. Even though I'm in Nigeria, they believe in me. They say you might be in Nigeria, but to us, you are South Sudanese. And they stood by me. I want to give thanks to God Almighty. By the grace of God, the both of them are coming as the thickness of the church. It was all for Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. I want to give thanks to Almighty God. To my beloved brother Noah. He has put himself ready for the church. And today, man of God, he is standing up today to be ordained as an evangelist of the church. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. We are going to rise upon our feet. My brothers, my fathers, may the God in the house. Please, I need all of you on the stage. We want to pray for them before we are going to put on their garments. Hallelujah. If you are standing for this one, please, I want to come outside and stand beside behind them. Men of God, please, we men of God, I want us to pray for that the God called in their life will not shift. That the call of God in their life will not shift. That they will not get tired in this job. That the Lord will empower them. And the Lord will strengthen them. May the God is declaring to their life. May the God declare it to their life. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we declare to their life. Fresh fire, fresh oil. Action to function. Rest of them. 